Hello, yes, hi, it's Millie speaking. A uh, long time without doing any um, talking video. <laughs> Hello, there's birds around here. <laughs> um, by the way, I'm, uh, I'm nursing two um, robins, uh, babies, because uh, as I, I think you have seen my cat around here, one of my videos. Um, but he's very wild cat. Uh, so he doesn't leave the birds alone. So he invaded uh, the robin to one of the nests here in my garden from the robins. And he managed to give three and I save it too. So I'm, you know, I'm nursing them now. <laughs> but this week I have to drop them in a, in a sanctuary for birds. So, yeah, I'm gonna leave these two babies uh, for the people, proper people to look after them. I have been looking after them for a week now. But um, I will drop them this week because next week I'm gonna travel to Cyprus. So, I'm not going to be able to continue looking after them. So yes, my privilege <laughs> to be mothering uh, to um, robins, babies, robins. Oh. But what I want to talk today is about something that has been, um, you know, cooking here in my brain for a couple of days and uh, yesterday um, me and my daughters were exchanging messages um, and then my younger daughter the one that suffered the you know the brain surgery she told me mom I'm feeling so down I'm feeling so down these last days I can't see any reason for anything. I, 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 I'm looking at my job and I see what, what I'm doing here. I'm looking at my life and say, what the heck? <laughs> and she has two babies, yeah. And then my other daughter that lives in Cyprus, she said, but I'm feeling the same way. I'm feeling these last days has been so difficult to go through. Everything seems like it's no, it's no purpose in anything is no reason for anything is you know I, I I don't feel anything like uh, I should be here or doing this or that and uh, and then I told them that's much I'm feeling the same way and then I remind them about uh, this month June has been a very hard month it's a month of justice a month of uh, struggles until uh, the end of June, the, the energy around is going to be very tough. And I remind them about it and then said, I knew it. I, I thought I was prepared for this moment, but I, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to go through this month. I'm struggling to go through this energy field that is running around the planet right now. And uh, because I was thinking about this for some days now, I decided to talk about it because uh, I was l uh, listening. The day is not very nice today. Yesterday was good, but today is like you know, all covered in <laughs> in clouds. And then I felt some drops of water here. So from my my fig tree. So I was thinking, okay. And yesterday I was listening to someone, and uh, the psychologist, he's a psychiatrist and psychologist, and he said that uh, the other one that was interviewing asked, uh, the enlightened, enlightened people doesn't go through struggles like uh, fears or, or, you know, regression or, you know, instability or... Uh, you know, sadness, and then he said, no, it's the opposite. 
because when when you are enlightened you can see everything your eyes is open to all realities so the enlightened people suffer of course because they see a lot of situations that they can they don't have power to change they don't have power to to um to influence for the better so yes they suffer it's the opposite so what i'm i'm saying is people think oh i'm gonna be enlightened so i'm gonna know everything so i'm not gonna be uh, afraid of anything i'm not gonna be struggling to uh, about anything but it's, it's not true be because you one thing you have to remember you are still in earth and earth is a planet of struggles and trials. Struggles and trials. You haven't ascended yet. If it's still a prison. You are imprisoned here. We can escape from Earth. You don't have bodies to escape from Earth. Our body is too fragile. You can escape. You are prisoners of Earth. That's the only place we, in the matter, survive. I'm not talking about our soul. I'm talking about the you know physical matter. The way we decided to manifest ourselves now. Our reality in Earth is what we can see every day. It's my garden, it's my house, it's my reality, it's my job, it's my kids, it's my struggles to survive. That is it's what we choose to be right now. And you have to embrace it. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Okay. The Chinese, the Chinese... Uh, tradition or philosophy or whatever what name you want to put it says that um, there is 10 steps of enlightenment okay 10 degrees of enlightenment 10, ten is, um, dimensions of enlightenment okay and I'm going to compare this tradition, the Chinese tradition of 10 steps for enlightenment to the 10 steps of the tree of life from Kabbalah, okay? Let's compare this 10 because 10 steps from the Chinese is the 10 sephiro of Mahout. I'm going to compare these two, okay? I'm not going to say that the Chinese is based on, on Kabbalah. It's nothing like this because the Chinese uh, philosophy and the Chinese tradition is much older, very much older than the Jewish tradition, okay? Chinese is a culture of uh, probably 15,000 years and uh, the Jewish people is just about 4,000 years. So the Chinese tradition is much older than uh, the Jewish tradition. But let's base on the Sephiroth because it's something that we are more um, are more used to, yeah? It's, it's common knowledge now, the 10 Sephiroth of the 10 steps of Kabbalah, the tree of life. So the first step of enlightenment is here in our reality in the matter is Malhut. It's where you are stepping now. It's, it's my physical body. It's my thoughts, it's my desires, it's my heart, it's my fears. That's the first step of enlightenment. And when I'm saying that, I'm not telling you that enlightenment is in our physical body. It's not. <laughs> This is a tangling movement in there. It's the physical body because that's the, my soul decided to manifest itself now in this physical body. So I can speak, I can pronounce, I can, I can interact, I can communicate. So 
the first step of enlightenment is here in our brain. Is the moment of saying, oh, oh let something here is something curing him this reality is the wake up of our brain to our reality is the realization that you, we are souls in a manifesting in a matter that's the first step of enlightenment is recognizing that you are a soul that habitate a matter it's not the opposite because we are teach long time ago that we are body and we our body it's a house oh that's true it's a house for the soul but in in the old uh, idea is the the body was more important even if the soul is is uh, immortal without the body the soul was didn't exist it's not true the soul exists before matter the soul exists in a, in a, in a dimension that uh, is is not this dimension that's what you are studying here so the first enlightenment the first step of enlightenment is enlightened your knowledge about your reality about your body about what you came to do here what you are experimenting here is this knowledge is the is the acceptance of this knowledge is is the is the embracing this you know this new for m many people new knowledge of reality I know it's like I'm going, you know, around the bush. <laughs> but what I'm, I'm trying to say here is the first step of enlightenment is you to recognize that you are more than a body. Okay? That you are a soul that decided to use and manifest itself in a physical body. Malhut. Malhut is the physical reality. Okay? And then the second step of enlightenment is when you go above, above matter and you decide it, okay, I am matter, but more than matter, I am a spiritual soul. So you establish a relationship between you and your spiritual or dimension body Buddha said that you have many bodies at least four in his knowledge today you know that you have more but then you realize that you have an astral body also you have more than a physical body and then you go to your sword is the second step your sword is the second step of enlightenment is the foundation of everything okay you say okay I know I am more than a body I know I, I have a soul I have a, a astral body that uh, lives above this reality of uh, matter but it's still matter because even if you go to astral body it's a type of matter also but it's a more subtle matter it's more is a, a more um, abstracted body it's like when you dream when you dream it's still you but in a, another dimension and that's your thought the foundation of this of the knowledge of knowing that you are more than your body that you can habitate it your physical body but also you can habitate it some astral bodies or some some subtle bodies or some over matter reality okay <coughs> sorry it's allergy <laughs> 
So, and then you go to the next step that is hard. That's the free will, okay? It's when you discover that you have an option of being whatever, option of being the matter, matter field, option to be in the, in the yes sort field, on, okay? So it's, it's freedom here. Is you decided? Okay, I have a, I have a free will. I can, I can habitate this reality, but I can escape off from this reality to another reality or to another, another dimension. I can escape. I can. That's when, when you go for your dreams, when you are sleeping, and you said, you choose your, the types of dream you wanna have. It's possible. In this. A step of enlightenment is possible for you to choose where you want to be in that moment. It's like you, you are traveling in, in, in the train, for example. The, the train is full, the underground is full, and, and this reality is a little claustrophobic, and you don't want to be in there. So you disconnect from this reality, this physical reality, and go to your thought, for example. Go to a foundation, foundation, or you can go to heart, the free will of being in the splendor of this moment. And then you disconnect it from this body, physical body, to another dimension. That's the free will, that's the step of your thought, the, the heart the step of heart, the possibility of you to choose what dimension you want to be in that moment. Sometimes you are, you know, not just traveling and the underground is not pleasurable, or you are walking in the streets and a lot of things. You, because when you, when you are enlightened, you see realities that people doesn't see. So sometimes it's very claustrophobic is very depre depressing. So you decide, no, I don't want to see this right now. I, I, uh, it's, it's damaging, it's, it's hurting me. So you decide, okay, I'm disconnected. So the free will of disconnection, of what you, you don't want to experiment at that, that moment, that is not very good for you in that moment, then you disconnect from this. That's the, the third step of enlightenment. The ability, the possibility of your free will to disconnect it from something that you don't want to be in that moment, and then you come back again when, when you feel that you had enough energy inside you, you uh, you you charge your batteries, and then you come back to this reality that you 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 are trying to you know escape in that moment. That's the third step of the of the of the of the enlightenment hold the splendor the free will and then come the fourth step god will <laughs> that is something special do you know why because it's victory is the is the step of enlightenment that you, you you say to yourself yes now i can grasp I, I know how to control this. I know how to go and come back. I know how to, to, to go to steps that, uh, you know, I, I, can, I can walk. I can walk now. I can, I can have control of everything, of my reality, of where I want to be, what I'm going to do, you know. It's still matter is still the same thing you are still here but you have no control your enlightenment stage now allows you to control your feelings your desires where you want to be in that moment in time there is people that is already in this in this step of enlightenment I know some of them that is already in that moment that knows how to disconnect and connect again, okay? That is Netzach. That's the step of Netzach. 
is the four step in the Kabbalah tree of life. Netzah, victory. The ability to accept it's acceptance of the God's will because you know if you are here it's because you choose you are the God inside you choose to be here so you have control of this reality I think it's going to rain very quick very soon and then come the fifth the fifth step that is net it's different it's the beauty it's a beauty surrender is to say yes I know I have I have get to the step of the five step of enlightenment i know everything and then i surrender to this reality i surrender to the to the reality of the the other dimensions i know how to control it i know how to be here i know how to be there i know how to be in my dreams i know how to be in my in my astral body in my emotional body in my you, you know in my mental body, I know, I know how to control, I know how to be, I surrender myself to this reality, I surrender myself to the, to the other dimensions, I surrender my, myself to the God's will, to the God's inside me, really. It's, it's the house of beauty. It's the fifth step of the enlightenment. It's not everyone that is there. It is my dream to be in that step of enlightenment. It's my dream. I'm still in my hood. I'm still in my, ho my hood. Probably in the steps of your sword, the second. Then comes the structure. It's the, the structure to plan the next step. Is Kivra. The force, the desire, the energy, the strength to go above everything is the sixth step of enlightenment. It's a dream to be in that step. <laughs> to have this structure to change reality change to make a tree that is dying to come alive again is the the, the 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 ability to look at someone and be able to heal that person not physically but emotionally that is the most important healing is healing here inside does a the healing physical healing is nothing it's nothing if you compare to the healing from inside from the head, from the heart. That's the most important healing. And the, to have the structure to do it is fantastic. It's the house of Givra. Oh, Givura. Give, give it's the dream. <laughs> then come the seven one, this has said, the kindness the beauty, the flow of this force, the flow of this energy, this enlightenment, the flow of it to go everywhere. It's like a river flowing and everyone can have this, this the ability or the, the possibility or the opportunity to drink from your enlightenment. This is the most imp in impressive one has said is the kindness, the giver, the love, the one that is already able to, you know, give, give, give. Flow of beauty, flow of knowledge, flow of healing, flow of everything is a river, is a river of beauty, river of blessing to everyone. That is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven step of enlightenment. And then you get to a place where no one wants to be. It's the art, the knowledge, 
because when when you get to this stage of seven step the seven step of enlightenment you are master you are mastering mastering the knowledge and then you get to this deep of the art the abyss and this is where most of the sages fails because at this stage all your ego has to be dead I, I I'm gonna say that art is like a stone is like a big big abyss between the sage the enlightened person to the final stage and if you failed in this abyss you have to start everything again on Malhut and that's what's happened with us I probably has been in uh, all these steps before and I probably have been failed on the art because I was not humble enough to surrender all this knowledge to to the nothing yes to the nothing because when you go to this stage of nothingness then is when you master everything and because we are attached to the seven steps because when you go to the that you say yes I am I'm here I managed to come here I managed to be in, in that in that step and if you're not humble enough to say but it's not me it's not me it's the grace of of the ancient one that put me in that moment so when you get to that moment of the art if you not surrender yourself completely to the abyss to the nothingness to the knowing nothingness you are gonna start everything again in Mahut. but if you manage to get to this knowledge and surrender this knowledge to the nothingness and then you go to Bina to the mother is the water the water of cleansing everything that has been giving up all these seven steps that you already been and get to the eighth step to the seven the, the eighth step that is Bina Bina is the water of cleansing all these old knowledges of the seven first steps to the fantastic last two steps of enlightenment. If you manage to get to Bina and cleanse your, yourself in the waters of Bina, on the mother, on the understanding everything, because if you if you if you give up the knowledge if you give up everything that you learned before in the seven steps to be now she's gonna transform it and it's gonna give the understanding of everything that you come through before all these enlightenment steps that you have been before and then you can go to the father you can go to Koma wisdom the wisdom. <coughs> I don't think anyone got to that stage yet. Probably Jesus. I don't know if he managed that. Sananda. Because if you if you manage to get to the Father, if you manage to get to the wisdom, then you are gonna be embraced by the ancient one that is scattered. The crown is the nothingness. <laughs> so the ten steps of enlightenment is for us 
to get to nothingness, to the ancient one, to the unity of everything, to the finished. So, what step are you? I reckon that I am in the going from a hold to yes art. It's a lot to go. It's a lot to go. So don't think enlightenment is the almost final step. No. There is ten steps for you to start your journey of enlightenment. It's not a miracle. It's a hard work. It's a hard work. Okay, I hope it helps you to understand a little more <laughs> because it's helping me. Yeah, frustrated sometimes because you think, oh my God, I'm too far. <laughs> but yes, let's go step by step. You choose that. So let's, let's manage that. Let's, let's, let's continue walking on this, the path of enlightenment. Okay, God bless you and keep you safe and me also. Bye-bye.